Hello, and welcome to the Cisco Hyperflex 4.5 with Intersight video series. In this video, we will look at how you can install a Hyperflex Edge cluster from Intersight. When you want to deploy a Cisco Hyperflex Edge cluster at your remote office, you simply ship it directly to your site. Once the equipment arrives at your remote office, a local technician needs to rack it and connect the servers to the upstream switch. Assignment of IP addresses can be done statically or via DHCP. The last step before the installation can begin is to claim Hyperflex Edge servers into Intersight. If you need to install just a couple of Cisco Hyperflex Edge clusters, you will probably use Intersight's graphical user interface. If you need to deploy tens or hundreds of Hyperflex Edge clusters, then you can also use the Intersight API to streamline the deployment process. Once you complete the cluster installation, you will be able to use Cisco Intersight for monitoring, managing, and the upgrading of your Cisco Hyperflex Edge clusters. So, now let's look at an example of how you can install Hyperflex Edge from Intersight. We have shipped the two servers to a remote site, had a local technician rack them, and then connect to upstream switches. Just before that, we made sure that upstream switches have a prepared VLAN and trunk configuration. Once servers were booted, DHCP assigned them with IP addresses, and now we can access the CIMCs. The first step is to claim those servers into Intersight. A device connector is part of the CIMC software that is used to communicate with Intersight. To claim Hyperflex Edge servers, you simply copy and paste the device ID number and claim code into Intersight. This is a one-time process for every individual Cisco Hyperflex Edge server. From this point onwards, all communication between Intersight and Hyperflex will be over a secure HTTPS connection. And just like that, we have the two servers claimed into Intersight, and we can start the installation itself. To start the installation from Intersight, we simply go to Configure and then Profiles. Here, we will select Create Hyperflex Cluster Profile. You can see that we have two installation profile options, one for standard and one for the Edge cluster type. We will select Edge. We will assign a name to our cluster and select the version of Hyperflex we want to deploy. Now, we will choose the two servers that we want to use to create this Cisco Hyperflex cluster. We can also select Assign Nodes later, if the servers were not yet claimed into Intersight and we wanted to prepare the profile configuration ahead of time. As part of the installation process, Intersight will configure desired passwords on all hypervisors and controller virtual machines. You can see that once we finalize the security configuration, it was converted to a policy. This enables us to reuse the configuration between devices in a consistent manner. So, if we wanted to deploy more than one Hyperflex cluster, we would be able to reuse a lot of these policies. Both time and name servers are mandatory for Hyperflex Edge installations. Note that vCenter is flagged as optional. This is because we can elect to nest vCenter on the Hyperflex cluster. In that case, we would leave this section empty, proceed with the installation, and then install vCenter on the Hyperflex cluster itself. However, in this example, we have an external vCenter ready to go. For the storage configuration section, we would select the VDI optimization checkbox if the only workload we had planned for this cluster was a VDI. We need to select the Cleanup Disk Partitions checkbox if these servers were used already, which in this case, they were. For any installations where servers are clean out of the factory, you would leave this checkbox unselected. It is recommended that you enable auto-support and provide an email that will receive notifications about the system. In the next step, we need to configure management IP addressing for hypervisors and controller VMs. Given we have a two-server cluster, we need ranges that will accommodate at least two servers. When it comes to the uplink speed, we have two options, 1 gig and 10 gig or above. 
we will leave this at 1 gig, since our servers connect to switches by using 1 gig cables. Intersight will correspondingly apply the appropriate configuration. Since we have a direct HTTPS connection between a remote cluster and Intersight, we don't need any proxy settings, so we will skip those and go straight to the Hyperflex storage network configuration. The Hyperflex storage is a VLAN that hypervisors and controller VMs use to exchange storage data. At this point, we can proceed to the next step, which is where we will configure a cluster management IP address and replication factor. Since we are using a two-node Hyperflex cluster, the only option is the replication factor of two. At this point, we are ready to start the installation. Intersight will first validate our profile configuration, and if everything is okay, proceed to download all the necessary files onto the servers and perform the installation. How long the installation takes will depend on the size of the cluster and, more importantly, the connection speed at the branch office. Since watching this installation is not that exciting, we will jump ahead. At this point, we have a functioning storage and hypervisor cluster. If we go to vCenter, we can see that Intersight already created a data center and cluster and added servers into vCenter. Let's open Hyperflex Connect and navigate to data stores. To create a data store, we simply need to give it a name and configure the size of the data store. And as simple as that, we can now start deploying workloads onto our Cisco Hyperflex Edge cluster. In summary, Cisco Hyperflex Edge is a great solution for your remote offices and can be easily deployed from Intersight without any pre-staging.